Carl Sagan is a well-known astronomer and science presenter. His book Cosmos is a classic. Cosmos is not a story, but a fascinating look at the universe that combines science and philosophy. It explains difficult ideas about the universe in a way that is easy to understand. It connects the past, present, and future of scientific findings, from ancient times to speculations about our future in the cosmos. Sagan himself is at the center of this great journey, leading the reader through the vastness of space and time. Even though Sagan is not a character in the usual sense, his passion, curiosity, and awe for the universe and our place in it are evident and give the story a compelling voice. Cosmos doesn't have a typical storyline. Instead, it moves through a number of ideas and themes that look at the vastness of the world and how we understand it. Sagan explores the beauty of the universe, from the Big Bang to the birth of galaxies, stars, and planets, as well as the interesting complexity of life on Earth. He does a great job of making links between the universe and our everyday lives, showing that we are all made of star stuff. Sagan also talks a lot about how we look for life outside of Earth and how important the search for extraterrestrial intelligence is. Through this research, he paints a picture of where we are in the world and tries to get people to see that we are just a tiny dot in the big picture. One of the most important ideas in Cosmos is the history of how people have thought about the world. Sagan traces the history of scientific finding, starting with the Greeks and Egyptians, who were among the first people to try to understand the universe. The book is a tribute to people who were ahead of their time, like Johannes Kepler and Isaac Newton, whose ideas led to modern science. Sagan talks about the importance of questioning and skepticism in science. He says that our knowledge of the world has been built up over centuries of curiosity and seeking knowledge. Along with the scientific and philosophical study of the world, there is a warning. Sagan warns about the risks of not knowing about science and not knowing how to use technology well. He says that in the age of nuclear weapons, we need to understand and take responsibility for the technology we've made or we could end up destroying ourselves. Cosmos uses a lot of examples and metaphors to explain its ideas. This makes the complexity of the world understandable to people who don't study it. One of these is the cosmic calendar, which fits the 13.8 billion year history of the world into one year. This tool helps us understand the vast amounts of time involved in the growth of the universe, giving us a more humble view of humanity's short life. The pale blue dot is one of the most powerful ideas in cosmos. Sagan shows us the picture of Earth that Voyager 1 took from the edge of the solar system to show how fragile our world is and how important it is to love and protect it. He calls for a view of the universe that goes beyond national, religious, and cultural differences. He also calls for unity and cooperation because we all have the same fate in the universe. In short, Cosmos is a grand tour of the universe and how we understand it, driven by Sagan's passionate belief in the power of scientific inquiry and the importance of a cosmic viewpoint. While the book talks about the wonders of the universe and the history of astronomical discoveries, it also serves as a stark reminder of our responsibility to our world and to each other. It shows how powerful curiosity is, how important knowledge is, and how deep the links are between us and the rest of the universe. Cosmos is not just a book about the physical world or astronomy. It's a story about us, our long journey of discovery, and the profound understanding that we are a way for the universe to learn about itself. It is a must-read for anyone who is interested in the world and how we fit into it. It teaches us to be humble, makes us feel amazed, and, most of all, makes us want to keep asking questions and finding out more.